Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. What if you guessed today is a brand new Division 2 video, and today we're going to go over this week's vendor reset. Like always, check out the description if you are interested in specific items. And also, I will have a complete overview of the vendors at the end of the video. Uh, so if I don't go over a specific vendor, just keep that in the back of your mind. I will be doing a complete kind of overview at the end. So um, that's that. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video or find it helpful, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more videos, and let's get right into this. Alright, so first up, we are stopping by the White House, and the first person you guys want to check out is this one. What he's actually selling, and the first thing I would recommend kind of checking out is actually this Badger Tough Mask. What's pretty good about this one is that it comes with two defensive attributes and one electronic attribute. It doesn't have any red ones, and unfortunately, it is missing a talent, which kind of sucks. Uh, you can't really get something like Damage to Elite on this one. But again, as I said, it has two defensive ones, one electronic, and what's really good about that is in the next patch, Title Update 3, you don't really want to have too many red attributes so you can unlock your talents on your gear or even your weapons. Um, as you guys know, they kind of change how some of the talent requirements are. So again, if you are looking for defensive attributes um, or even an electronic attribute to put on your build, it is unfortunately a Badger Tough, which means it gives you damage to lead, armor percent on kill, and also cam launcher skill power. But if you're making a build like that, if you want to focus on a PvE build, this mask is pretty good. Now moving down, you want to check out this tactical AUG A3P. Uh, this one's actually pretty decent. It is a SMG. It comes with 12.9k base damage, and for the talents, it has Strained, Distant, and Rooted. Uh, for this one, I would recommend getting rid of Distance, get something like Extra for the extra bullets in the magazine, or even something like Allegro for the extra rate of fire. Um, it's not the best SMG in the game, as you guys know, but if you are looking for a decent SMG with decent talents, uh, this one obviously has Strained, and the base damage is okay. And lastly, you guys want to check out this blueprint. This is actually a black market AKM replica blueprint. And it's a pretty good weapon, I would say. The base damage on it is okay. Uh, it's pretty good for PvP and PvE. So if you guys don't have this blueprint, if you're missing this weapon, uh, definitely check it out from this vendor if you want to buy it. Also, I will say I will not be posting the clan vendor um, in, in this video. For some reason, he's not resetting for me. I know he reset in the past. But for the past couple weeks or so, he hasn't really reset, so uh, there's really no point of kind of including him in the videos. If you want to check out what he's selling, I will have a link in the description to my previous vendor reset. You guys can check out and see what he's actually selling and the things you should buy. Up next, you guys want to start with the campus settlement, and the one thing I would recommend buying from him is actually this chest piece. This is a Overlord's Armament chest piece, and it obviously gives you rifle damage of 10%. 7.5% total armor and 7% damage to leads. And I would say buy this one if you are looking for kind of a placeholder or if you can't really make your rifle build because you don't have the gear pieces. Again, this is something you can buy and use as a placeholder until you get better gear and something that's actually uh, better than this one. It does give you headshot damage, it gives you health of 10k as well and skill power, but overall, it's not the best attributes. And also for the talents, it gives you Bloodsucker which I would recommend kind of re-rolling this one for Unbreakable or even something like Unstoppable Force. It just really depends what you can get. Um, so again, if you're using a rifle or if you want to make a rifle build, I should say, and you're looking for a decent chess piece, uh, check this one out. The DZUS safe house is next on my list. And the first thing you want to check out is actually this Venice Group AB holster. This one's pretty good, I would say. It's obviously for your AR damage. But what it comes with for the attributes is 2,995 health on kill, 9.5% critical hit damage, and for the talents, it has surgical, which obviously gives you 8% critical hit chance. Now, first of all, I will say, if you want to keep health on kill, get rid of critical hit damage, get something like crit chance or headshot damage. For ARs, you either want to spec high crit chance or just go headshot damage. Uh, you don't really want too much critical hit damage like that. Uh, but if you want to kind of get rid of health on kill, get something like health or bonus armor it just again depends on your build so overall it's a pretty good uh holster not the best one but again if you're if you are interested uh definitely check out this avenger the last thing you want to check out are actually these knee pads these are some overlord armaments knee pads uh, again they are for your rifle damage and what they come with is 4340 bonus armor and they also have hard hitting so again not the best not the worst but if you are looking for um, some knee pads like this to complete your build, or maybe just use them for now. Uh, this is something again available at this venture. 
Next up, you guys want to start with the ZZ South Venture, and the one thing you want to check out from him is actually the Stocom M1A rifle. Now, obviously, this is not the most popular kind of rifle in the game. Uh, something like the Police MK17 is a little bit better, but uh, this one's still pretty good. Um, so what it comes with is Breadbasket. This is obviously something for damage, landing body shots, adds a stack of 5% headshot damage to the next uh, headshot for 10 seconds. Max stack is 10, so pretty good talent, I would say, especially for rifles. It also gives you Accurate, uh, which is pretty nice, and it also gives you Zen. So again, if you're making a rifle build, if you want to pair this one, uh, pair this weapon up with that build, or if you just want to buy this one for Breadbasket or Accurate, uh, either of those talents are really good on a rifle, so, uh, you know, the choice is yours. So, um, if you are interested in this one, once again, visit the DZ South Avenger. Last but not least, you want to stop at the DZ East Venture, and the one thing you want to check out is actually this Gilligard chess piece. Now, first of all, I will say I will not recommend buying this one and actually using it on your build, unless you are really desperate and you're looking for an exact chess piece like this with the talent and these kind of attributes. Um, or if you want to use this as a placeholder for your for your build and get something better in the future. But the reason why I even mentioned this one is because of the health. It comes with 15,108 health, which is really high and it's kind of rare finding a chess piece with this much health. So obviously by this one, reroll the health into your main chess piece or even a different chess piece you might want to use in the future and just get a little bit more health like that. Um, overall, again, not the best chess piece. You want to you can't really get something like Unstoppable Force or Unbreakable or even Berserk on this chess piece um, because it's missing that talent. But overall, for the health, it's a pretty good buy and it can really kind of upgrade your build that way. Um, so yeah, this is going to be everything for the Avengers this week. Obviously, not the greatest week, not the worst week either. Uh, just really depends what you're looking for. And if you are, um, you know, kind of new to the game or you're, or you're coming back or, you know, if you're a veteran, it's obviously going to vary... Um, on you But like I said, that's going to be it for the video. Thank you all so much for watching If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments and here is the complete overview of the Avengers this week Good to see you Always a pleasure to see you. got to lose. Anything I can help you find? Thanks for doing business with me.